Good afternoon, ma'am. On behalf of my partner, Ms. Estroba, I am Gordon Fabrero and I'm going to be the presenter for today. So, our task is to compare, to analyze, and to evaluate the different architectural elements and characteristics of the different structures from across Asian region, from Cambodia, Thailand, Mongolia, Tibet, which is an autonomous region of China and Malaysia. To begin with, most Asian architecture was influenced by ancient religions with influences from Buddhism and Hinduism. Both structures is governed depending on the religious affiliation. Let's start with the roof. The roof in Gandan Temple, Jokhang Temple, and in Sampothong in Malaysia is characterized by hip roof, upturned eaves and roof corners with mythical animal figures on top placed on the trails of the ridges of the four corners. In Jokhang Temple, the roof is colored in gold that symbolizes respect, political, and religious power in Tibet. The Bayon Temple roof is made up of sandstone, bricks, and laterite. The Wat Arun roof is characterized by gable roof with a central spire decorated in colored ceramics to co-work. The decorative elements attached on the edge of the roof's gable is called panlom or barge board. In terms of decoration or decorative figures, the decorative figure in Gendan and Jokhang Temple is, compro- is compromise, a religious wheel known as the Dharma wheel. The center wheel symbolizes the Lord Buddha and the deer symbolizes the human being. As a whole, it represents the people learning from Buddha. The decorative figure in Sampotong is shows mythical and animal figures. The decorative figure in Wat Arun is the walls is decorated with many intricate murals. The decorative figure in Bayan Temple is the stone carving of faces of over, I think it's 200 faces carving the tower and the walls. Windows The window in Johan Temple, the frame is in black Tibetan style window called Baka, a black trapezoidal patterns. The window in Sampothong is a stadium oval shape with wooden window grills. The window in Bayan Temple is only open in one direction which is in the east. On the other three sides it features fake or blind windows. In Gandan Temple the windows is primarily decorated with a ladder shaped frame painted in red color. The upper part is consists of overhanging cornices in three layer. In terms of arches, the arches in Sampotong, Jokhan Temple, and Gandan Temple in Mongolia is tif- typified with Paiofang, also known as Pai Lu. It is a traditional style of Chinese architectural art or a gateway structure. The builders of Bayan Temple also failed to adopt the true arc. Instead, corbel arc can be found most of the temple in Angkor, Angkor complex. The arches from Wat Arun and most of religious building in Thailand is characterized by pointed arches with decorative elements which is similar to India. In terms of orientation, the Bayan temple facing four cardinal direction, the facade facing north, and the other side the other three sides facing the three directions. What Arun main entrance facing east, the Jokhan Temple has an east-west orientation facing Nepal. The Sampothong in Malaysia is orientate, oriented in northwest. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Mom.